Well, I'm glad to be here. Frankly, I'm glad to be anywhere. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I want to tell you about a couple of things. Number one, uh, the uh, Baptist Village is having a seniors revival uh, at, out at uh, uh, Erlanger and, uh, next week. And Randy Wallace is going to be there playing the music. And I'm going to be there at least a couple of the days filming, uh, Randy playing the music, and, uh, and invite all seniors to come out there. Uh, it's on Facebook and YouTube. And, uh, and then the other thing is uh, on the 30th of this month, you all might recall one of the reasons I got, um, I'm in the trouble I'm in, is a fellow I helped for eight years, Darius Beach, is a veteran and I took care of him for eight years uh, with the knowledge of his brother who is uh, Lee <coughs> Beach and uh, uh, they were somewhat estranged but Lee as a, was a teacher for 32 years at Dixie Heights High School and uh, he's being honored Frank and inducted into the Hall of Fame of Dixie Heights uh, on the 30th down at the gardens and uh, uh, for being an outstanding teacher and ironically I'll be there singing my old Kentucky home for him uh, for that event uh, with the school folks so anybody that's interested in coming I sent a little note out to some of the Dixie boy group uh, to let them know about it and uh, the other thing is I go back to court on Monday the 20 I think it's the 24th go back to court so I'd appreciate your prayers and uh, I've got about 14 people who have voluntarily written character testimony letters for me and in fact if anybody in here would like to do that I'd be happy to have them because I don't know if I can ever need to turn them in to anybody or not but it doesn't hurt to have them to at least vouch for how I've helped people all my life. And, uh, and I know that my memory is not what it used to be. Because when you sit down beside, beside somebody you've had on your television show and you don't know who they are, you got a problem. Well, I've got a problem. <laughs> but I'm trying to deal with it the best I can and realize that I do have the problem. And... Uh, Miss June is really in bad shape, so it's very difficult for her to get up at 4 o'clock to get me ready to be able to come here like she did this morning. But she did get me up, and, and I appreciate it very much, and I'm glad I'm able to be here. So God bless you, and thank you all for your prayers that you've already given me. And uh, my attorney, who's a very good attorney, Daryl Cox, tells me that uh, uh, I'm, they're going to, I forgot what the term he is, use it now. Oh, trespass, not trespass, but the, 
oh, it's a legal term, dismiss. They're going to dismiss it, but uh, of course you don't believe it till you see it. <laughs> when they, when they're hang something's hanged over your head and you can't even fight back against it because no one's ever asked you about it to, except friends. And so it's, that's a sad situation to be in when your life is hanging in by a thread on somebody else's power. So God bless you and thank you very much, men. Did that make any sense? You did fine. You did fine. Yeah. Last Saturday we had uh, the Daughters of the American Revolution as well as the Sons of the American Revolution Conference. Full complement of Revolutionary War reenactors. Uh, uh, it, it, they were dedicating a uh, cemetery plot in our old church cemetery. Uh, lifelong member of Black Spring Baptist Church. He was uh, in the Revolution. quite the scene and uh, some of the media were there and it was uh, it, it was something else to see. Uh, being a history buff, I, I really liked it anyway. Uh, but we got to you know, give tours of the old church and uh, got to walk the grounds and a uh, uh, beautiful day uh, this past Saturday and uh, it was just really, really a good time to have my all. It was really great to see people with respect of our country and where we, we come from. I just forgot and I wanted to mention Gil Hammond and Jan Hammond. Thank you for the prayer mat that you all put together for them and for me. I delivered it to them. Gil has not been hardly able to walk for a good little while. He's going to have to have a hip replacement done uh, this uh, in June. And uh, so keep, keep him in the, your prayers and the radio station in your prayers, WIOK. 107.5 FM on the radio dial. Thank you, John. Anything else? What? I want to offer a prayer for San Jose and the morning. The young man was down in Lincoln River this week. It's part of my family, actually. And my niece touched his twin brother. Um, I didn't know the young man had died, but um, some you know he's got four children and his oldest daughter to graduate from high school next month. Not even <coughs> so whole family and friends are torn apart. So I'd like to offer a prayer for them and the family and just you know, somehow God will reach out to them, you know, come to us and keep the family. Yes. Yes. Father, we offer the prayers to the family, the party, friends, family, and the community that's been hurt 
by a young man who committed suicide, if that ever one, please give peace to the family, friends, and the community. Um, and just, you know, just let people know that there are help out there. Just reach out to people who are in need of um, this terrible tragedy. Um, and just pray for the family, the, the children, and the twin brother who is devastated by this tragedy. Just uh, put peace in your heart and give them. <laughs> Amen. Suicide. I mean, my dad committed uh, suicide I mean, <laughs> 70 years ago. And my dad, you, know, he, you don't get over that. You know, so, you know, you always wonder, should I have done something? Should I have done it? And I think we just need to pray that there's nothing anybody could have done. You know, but if you do see somebody, I guess don't try to brush them off. Yeah. <laughs> 
of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Alan and Wayne. Happy birthday to you. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad it is, and be glad it is. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad it is. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brothers. And do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. Amen. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. You yourselves do not enter, nor will you let those who enter who are trying to. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You travel over land and sea to win a single convert, and when you have succeeded, you make them twice as much a child of hell as you are. <laughs> Woe to you, blind eyes. You say if anyone swears by the temple, it means nothing. But anyone who swears by the gold of the temple is bound by heaven. You blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that makes the gold sacred. You also say if anyone swears by the gold, You blind men, which is greater, the gift or the 
You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill, and cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. You should practice the latter without neglecting the former. You blind God. You strain out a gnat to swallow a camel. <laughs> Woe to you, teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup of the but inside you're full of greed and self indulgence. Blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside also will be clean. Woe to you, teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you hypocrites. <laughs> you are like whitewashed tombs. Look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. What do you teach the law of heresy and hypocrisy to build tombs for the prophets and decorate the grave of the righteousness? And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, So you testify against yourselves that you are the sentence of those who were in the Go ahead and repeat what the man said to show you. You say, the word of life, how will you escape the condemned to hell? Therefore, I am sending you prophets and sages and teachers. Some of them you will kill and crucify. Others you will flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town. Until from you will come all white on the earth. From the blood of the righteous Abel, to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Bethlehem. To whom you have murdered between the temple and the altar. Truly, I tell you, all of this will come on this generation. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stone them and sent to you. How often I have longed to gather your children together and again gather the chicks. And you were not willing. Look at your house, it is left to you, it is hard to destroy me. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Still have not fixed the problem that first got diagnosed. It's 
heard of that. It's, and you can't leave this house. Or it's just, it's really good. No. I just know him by your other term. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> when I retired, I introduced my family. He was the first one. I know he was a good brother. brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, calls me to say, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll lay it to him. He's a little boy. I'm afraid. Amen.
Father, as we enter into this time of closing, Lord, we just ask that you pay particular attention to our petitions today. Lord, we finish as we began. We give you all praise, honor, and glory for everything that is done and said in here. And Lord, let everything that we do bring that to you. And what is said, how we share ourselves with others, how we greet others. And Lord, I just ask that you put someone in our way that needs to know Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. Lord, we love you so much. Our country's in a mess. Lord, we uh, have so many different things going on in our country right now that it's, it's hard to, to keep up because it seems like it's one thing after another. But we also know that none of this caught you unaware. And Lord, we just ask that you break us, you bring us all the way down to where we know that our rescue can only come from one place, and that is from you. Lord, we love you so much. We ask that you grant us traveling mercies as we leave this place. And it's in Jesus Christ, my Savior, that we ask all of these things. Amen. 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 Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Well, blind, but now I see. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Prayer breakfast every 6.30, every Thursday morning, here at Lakeside Christian Church, Buttermilk Pine, Crestview, Crescent, Crestview Hills, Kentucky. Questions? Give me a call, 859-750-0000. Join us on Facebook or on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to listen to WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial. Post Office Box 50, Falmouth, Kentucky, uh, 41040 zip code. God bless you and have a great day. See you, John. See you later. Take care. Love you. God bless you, John. Love you. See you. Have Take care. Time. Take care. Good morning. See you, Take care, Jack. Love you. Yeah, it's a, it's not a golf course. It's just right. a driver. Take care now. Good luck, See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to come in and thank these wonderful men for cleaning up here today for the prayer breakfast. We're the scrubs. 6.30 every Thursday morning at Lakeside Christian Church. 6.30 mm -hmm. to 7.30.
It's great to be here with them and say our prayers together. Love you guys. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. And tell your dad to say hello. I will. I'll see you here in a little bit. And I'm glad to see Frank here. Oh, yeah. Always. Praise the Lord. See you all later. Have a good one. I still don't think your dad exists. I've never met him. I know, right? <laughs> back here. God bless him too. <laughs> Take care. You too, big John. Nice to see you. Good seeing you. Bye bye now. Do my best to Jan. I'll do that. Heading out, folks. Got to go down to the social worker's office to get some papers faxed in at 8 o'clock. Then head back out to the house, pick up Miss June, and then we got to go to the. Oh, can't let me get the door open. Got to. Go over and go to the, I think it's a neurology doctor, and uh, discuss my executive skills or lack of their own. And, and, uh, and then meet with the Hammonds and the, and the Tillies and the Williamses and the Fosters. And uh, for our prayer meeting, it, Golden Corral at 2.15. So that's the story for today so far. If I make it. God bless everybody. Including Daryl Cox of Cox and Cox and Angie and Miss June. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I listen to a little WIOK until we get out of the parking lot. Then no filming and driving. As a promise to Miss June. And to myself because it's too dangerous.
here, and I've been coming here, and before here, over at Fort Mitchell Baptist, since 1974, when Gil Hammond took me to the first men's prayer breakfast, and the original people were there, including Jim Morrison, Gil Hammond, and the founder, bless his heart. Some wonderful, so many wonderful videos I've done there at prayer breakfast, including this one. Men praying together for each other and other people in the communities all across northern Kentucky. Beloved, very much. I love to listen to WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial. And this afternoon we'll be with Gil and Jan. And Gil's going to have to have surgery on his hip and his hip replaced. And uh, Jan's going through her recoveries too, as well as Miss June. In fact, we all are <laughs> part of age in our 80s and 70s. But God watches over us, and I need to watch over Miss June more, protect her.